Falling to pieces in my room Are you coming over? That's cool I could use a little Good morning! So, there is, I think this is going to be a fun little vlog. It's kind of like a clean and decorate with me, but also with some talking portions. So, um, I'm going to be putting together my new dining room table that I got, hanging up a mirror in the living room, putting up a new print, cleaning, so a lot of fun stuff. But first, I'm going to make some coffee. And yes, it's already noon, but... <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. guys up so I could talk a little bit more <laughs> it's kind of low but I so I've been in the process of trying to figure out how I wanted our dining room so I actually had a table from our old house sold that table on Facebook marketplace used that money to buy a table off Facebook marketplace I bought it for like a hundred dollars me and my friend when she came into town we refinished it because she loves refinishing furniture and I liked it at first, but I didn't love it. And the longer I sat in the dining room, the more I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about this. So then I sold it, <laughs> so I made my money back again. And I have just been on the hunt for a dining room table. I knew I, what kind of style I wanted, and I just did not want to buy a dining room table full price. They're so expensive, and I have a two-year-old and a five-year-old, so I didn't want to have to worry about it getting like, I don't know, chipped or drawn on or anything like that. So I have been scouring Facebook Marketplace. I found a table I loved, messaged the seller, got beat out by someone else, found another one I loved, messaged the seller. It was already pending. <laughs> so then, um, this past weekend, I found another one that I loved, and I, it was $160, which I felt like was a great deal. So I messaged the seller, and we got it. So it's in the dining room right now. So what I'm gonna do is put it together. But I wanted to give you guys a little background of what I'm doing. So yeah, let's go put it together. Okay, so this is the table. I just need to attach the legs and then flip it over. It's originally from World Market. I tried to find it online, I couldn't find it. So it's probably an older one, but you can even see right there, it says cost plus. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I actually haven't seen the top of the table yet because it's been laying that way ever since my husband came home, but I love what I see so far. So I'm going to set you guys up and put it together. First off, I will hang, like kind of loop the chandelier so it's more on top of the table. Um, but also I'm gonna get a different rug. I love this rug, I'll be keeping this rug. It's just gonna go in a different room because this room is a really pretty blue color, but it just happens to be the exact same color as the rug, so it's just kind of too much blue going on in my opinion. So I wanna get a different rug, and then 
I want to have four white upholstered chairs. So like one, two, three, four. I think that'll be really pretty. I also have no idea what I'm gonna do with all this wall space, but this will be a future video. I'm gonna do a dining room makeover. Today's video is just like a little bit of a vlog of me getting stuff done around the house, but I was too excited to not share the table. I feel like I'm so low because this is not a desk chair. It's like way too low for this. It's a recliner. So I've just been sitting and trying to edit the clips I already filmed so I can kind of stay on top of it. But something I want to do before it gets dark out today is mow the lawn. I've only done this one other time. Usually my husband is the person that mows the lawn. But recently I have been trying to be more active in any way I can. So we've been going on like walks. Like this morning we went on a walk. We've gone on a walk every day. Um, just trying to do little things. So a couple weeks ago or last week I mowed the lawn and I really liked it. I felt like it got, I don't know, got me up and moving a little bit. I got a little sun. I just thought it was fun. I have just, I feel like I'm too sedentary. And so I think I'm gonna go out and mow the lawn real quick and I'll see if I can film it. I think I'm gonna put my camera on the tripod. I don't know. I might be a little embarrassed to do that. We'll see. Okay, so it's not like a filming day for me, so I'm sorry if you can hear the kids in the background and all that. Usually I only film when my husband's off, but I wanted to get this hung up. So, I got this from Home Goods like a month ago, and it sadly it broke before I could hang it up. Um, but you know, I can't return it obviously, and I still wanna use it. So my thought process is maybe I can hang it up over here and move this lamp, which by the way isn't usually over there, usually it's over here, but I just moved it out of the way so I could access that corner. But I'm thinking, okay, if I hang it here, maybe I can pull it out, put it in the corner a little bit, and it will hide that crack. I don't know, worst case scenario, I'm just gonna take the rest of the glass out and then I just won't have glass. It's a really pretty frame and I prefer things to have glass, I just think it makes it look a little more like high-end and expensive, but what are you gonna do? So. I found um, some painter's tape, so I've just kind of been measuring it out to figure out where I want it, and then I was like, oh, I should probably film this, which I know it drives some people crazy when I use a bunch of clips from different days and put them in one video because it feels like all over the place, but this is just, you know, real life, and I like sharing these little things, and sometimes I just don't have the time to set aside like a full filming day so I like to do like you know little things even if my husband's not home to watch the kids so I just wanted to film it um so we're gonna see we're gonna see how this looks I'm gonna try this corner if this corner doesn't work I might try that corner so the way that I measured it sorry the TV's too loud but this is like where the holes are this is how tall it is and this is how long it is so I can kind of hopefully put it in the right area on the first try So I've showed this side of the room before and don't mind right there. I was swatching something. I need to paint it back to the original color. I love how the rest of the living room looks, but this area I always thought was weird because I can't center this couch on the wall. Um, then it will cut off the pathway. 
And so I've been kind of looking for something to go right here. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. Then I saw this mirror from Target and I've wanted it for a while. It's normally $130, but I happened to go on the app and I saw that it was on sale for 25% off for $90, which is still a little high for me. But then I saw like one of the app specials or circle thing was 20% off home decor. So then it brought this down to like $70. So I snagged it and I really like it. So I already had my husband like hold it up so I could see what height I wanted it at. And I used my little stud finder and there are studs. There's a stud right here. There's not one over here though. So I think I'm gonna anchor this side, stud this side. Okay, I don't have painter's tape, but I just ripped this little, it was like a, a thing for a shopping bag. I just pulled it off. So I'm gonna use this. <laughs> Okay, that, that was an experience. Um, that drill was just crazy, but I think it turned out so good and I love it. And now it seems like more intentional and the walls like, I don't know, I love it. Yay! So here it is from another angle. It definitely makes it feel brighter in this room because the windows over there and it like kind of oh, reflects the light. I love it. Okay, so now you guys are kind of caught up on all the home projects I've been doing recently. I did want to take a second to kind of talk about why my videos have been a little bit more spaced out recently. I have been posting like once every two weeks, which is not what I want to do. I always want to post once a week. I'm going to be honest, guys, I've been in a little bit of a funk recently. And I like hate to say it, but it like... 100% has to do with my kids. I feel like I'm kind of in like a hard parenting stage. Um, I have a five-year-old and I don't like to share too much, too much about my kids on here, especially my five-year-old because he's like in school now. Obviously I showed a lot about when my two-year-old was born because he was born at 28 weeks and I took you through that whole process. But in general, I try not to share them too much. I never want them to be like the focus of my channel, but um, my five-year-old's been having a little bit of like a rough time behaviorally recently and then the two-year-old is two so it's been a little bit of a rough time so I kind of feel like I am just like uh, just kind of fighting to get to the end of the day every day like we're definitely in that stage of parenthood where I, I have mommy burnout burnout majorly majorly so um i don't know it for some reason it like affects my youtube because i i never know what to film it it's weird it like kind of translates into like a little bit of an like imposter syndrome where then i'm like why am i filming this nobody cares i don't know i know it's silly but um it's kind of like to do youtube videos you have to be like in a good mindset because 
it is like a creative process. You kind of have to have a vision of like what you're gonna film and then be motivated to like edit because it's definitely like, you know, creating content's a creative outlook. So I feel like when I'm in a funk, that's one of the first things to go is like the creativity and the inspiration. So the past few weeks, I've just been like, I don't know what to film. Like I have nothing to film. Like obviously I'm in the middle of filming a dining room makeover and I'm also in the middle of filming a playroom makeover but those videos are big videos, you know, cause you gotta find things over time, especially when you're like me and you're trying to find stuff off Facebook Marketplace and not just buying new, it takes time. But the, the videos in between, I've just been like, I don't know what to film. And so I'm filming this, which is kind of like a vlog, but like a little house updates. I'm not sure what I'll title it. Um, obviously we try to title whatever will bring in the views. So I don't think I'm gonna title it vlog cause those don't really do as well, but I'll probably do something like decor styling or I don't know those ones do well on my channel and I am doing a lot of decor stuff <sighs> but all that to say thank you guys for hanging on I know sometimes I can you know I haven't been doing that well with consistency um I always try to do one video a week but recently I've just been really struggling with it and I've kind of toyed with like oh should I put Bennett in daycare like since you know so he can work and then I'm like I don't want to put him in daycare I don't know if he would love that and also it's just so expensive so I don't know I just thank you guys for bearing with me I'm going to try to get back on a little bit of a schedule I've been trying to go on like walks every day and do things to get my body up and moving to try to get out of this little funk that I had and it's funny because I remember I had the same kind of funk when William was two and now Bennett's two so I'm like is that is that related? <laughs> do I just not do well with two-year-olds? But anywho, um, I am, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I know it's a little bit all over the place.